let's talk about the kilogram. The kilogram is one of the most important units of measurement in the world. It is the measurement of mass, how much matter an object has inside of it, unlike weight, which is the force gravity exerts on an object. In our day-to-day -day basis, we are constantly measuring mass, while weighing ourselves, pricing groceries, and making food. The kilogram is a unit of measurement, part of the units known as the International System of Units, or SI for short, which is a system of units used by scientists all over the world for measurements and calculations. Let's follow the kilogram all the way back to its origins in France and see how one of the most important units of measurement came to be. Let's start during the eve of the French Revolution. All throughout France's history, they had a huge amount of measurement units, over 800 of them, and 600 of them were just for mass. In 1790, l'Académie des Sciences tasked five amazing scientists to fix this confusing problem, and make a set system of unified units. What they did was that they first found the new measurement of distance, the meter. Then, they defined the new measurement of mass, the grave. This was defined as the mass of a liter of water at its melting point. As a reward, Marquis de Condorcet was put into jail and died before he was guillotined because, of course, the French Revolution. It was then realized that the meter was defined incorrectly in Lavoisier and and Hau, um, Hau, uh, I seriously do not know how to pronounce his name, redefined the grave by increasing the definition from the melting point to 4 degrees centigrade the point at which water is at its densest, and changed the name from grave to gram. The gram was a bit too small for practical use, so they added the prefix kilo in front of it to make it much more easier. In 1799, the kilogram the archives was created weighing precisely 18,827.5 grains, which is an old French unit for mass. For 76 years, everything was perfect and nothing changed. Until in 1875, where 17 countries signed the Treaty of the Meter to establish new prototypes for mass and length. This led to the creation of the IPK, the International Prototype Kilogram, which is a platinum iridium alloy. Recently, in 2019, the kilogram required again another change. It was the last SI unit that was based off an actual artifact. What they did is that they first found out the actual value of the Planck's constant. I know this sounds kind of strange, but bear with me for a sec, I will explain it all. Planck's constant is best known for relating the frequency of a photon, a particle of light, to its energy. But we also know that energy and mass are related through E is equal to mc squared. So I hope you can see how this all ties up and how Planck's constant involves mass. They did this by doing multiple experiments such as using a watt balance, which basically is where they balance the weight of a kilogram with the force of an electromagnet. Scientists also created the roundest object in the world made from one type of silicon atoms. And now, finally, the kilogram has come to its final place with a determined value and a place on the pedestal as one of the most important units of measurement of all time.